Many of the buildings along this stretch of Will Rogers Boulevard date back to the early 1900s. A few even predate statehood. Today, most of the shops and offices are occupied. Parking slots out front are full. It's a far cry from when this photo was taken just a few years ago. That was before businesses began refurbishing the buildings and the boulevard with the help of the Main Street Project. Downtown Claremore has really changed a lot thanks to Main Street, hasn't it? Yeah, we've done a lot of work downtown in cooperation with our city. The whole visual aspect has come back. It's such an inviting place to be. Several years ago, we partnered with them on a $2.1 million streetscape, which and literally changed everything. Uh, we added uh, historic lighting. Oh, these are beautiful. And uh, on, finally, we can do flags again on the, on the holidays. We did uh, a lot of infrastructure work, which helped. And one of the main things is we got rid of all the sky trash. You know, all the wires that went across and obstructed everybody's view, that's now buried. Uh, new sidewalks with the accents, the bump outs, that type thing. So that was really the beginning of the visual change. I'm not seeing a lot of that 1960s metalwork that clutters up so many downtowns anymore. Oh, thank heavens. I mean, that's one of the main missions of Main Street is to try to bring back the architectural integrity. I mean, this is our heritage. These are streets that Will Rogers walked on. So we're trying really hard working with the property owners to bring back, uncover the windows, bring back the wonderful brick that makes Claremore unique. We have, over the last couple of years, with our streetscape that I was talking about, the one thing it did was it took away all of our greenery. Because there used to be the, the trees planted downtown, which we just couldn't do that anymore. So we have worked to try to bring back a little bit of fluff, a little bit of art into downtown. We've added uh, planters on the bump outs, uh, really fun little bike racks, and great art tile benches for people to sit on and just enjoy being downtown. People around town decorated and painted individual art tiles to go on them. The new look is attracting locals to once again shop and eat downtown. Does that also bring in the tourism dollars? Yes, it does. We're very fortunate in Claremore to be located right adjacent to Route 66, which is the mother road of tourism through Oklahoma. So we do catch a lot of tourists, but what we're finding is, I mean, through some advertising we've been able to do in like the Tulsa hotel rooms and the area hotel rooms, we've got people that are staying maybe in Tulsa, but they're coming over here, you know, and spending the day and looking around. Has restoring Main Street also brought back living on Main Street? Yes, through the Main Street working with the city, we were able to uh, get our ordinance changed. I mean, it, what proverbially was housing on the upper floors, boarding houses, hotels, this type of thing, back in the early 1900s, over the years it kind of got outlawed. Where in Claremore, for a long period of time, you could not use these buildings for a residential on the upper floors. So working with them, we've been able to change that ordinance and now we, we've got apartments going in. Which has many new residents moving in to spend their money right where they live. In Claremore, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.